Is that the main success criteria for for people to start using AR in a in a big way? Because I think if we if we went down to the street right now mm. and asked people how many times have you used AR, they wouldn't know people, what AR is. Exactly, they wouldn't even if they knew what AR was. But I think ninety five percent of all people wouldn't know yeah. that we asked random on the street. So first of all, they wouldn't know what the hell we were talking about in the first place. Mm-hmm. But those last five percent, they might say once the past quarter the past three months maybe Mm. i'm just spitballing here but how so how do we change that basically is my question how do we change that from everybody knowing about apps today how do we make that happen also for ar so to say Or, or do we is that not even a relevant question like people shouldn't care about ar whatever we call it as long as they use you know these immersive experiences where you connect the physical with the digital yeah how do you see that um so our approach in in hololink is that ar is going to be democratized by doing two things Mm -hmm. making it easy to distribute so reach people with the experiences Mm -hmm. and making it easy to create these experiences right so to elaborate uh, distribution uh right for example in, in my linkedin feed i see a lot of people who have created AI experiences. Mm. And if I want to access those AI experiences, I I need to go into the app store, download an app, make sure there's room on my phone, all of that. Mm. And I do that less than 1% of the times I see something. True. But if it's just a link and I can instantly click it Mm. and be in the experience, then I'm going to do it. So that means people actually use AI. Mm. That's a a huge thing. Right. Um, And to the common man, it's just opening a a new tab in their browser. Yeah, exactly. It's just another web experience. Right. Just insanely more cooler <laughs> than a website, but <laughs> that's the sad thing. True. So distribution is a key thing. Mm. Uh, and then the second thing is it needs to be way easier to create because mm. otherwise it's just going to be one-offs by corporates. Right. Um, so it, it needs to be, for example, for agencies, mm. when they get a, a pitch or like a, a, a something from a client who wants to accomplish something mm. they look in the in the drawer mm. of tools and they go okay so i could use photoshop for creating a, an image i could use uh, premiere pro for mm. a video mm. or i could use hololink for creating an ai yeah. experience nice. so it it needs to be a tool that is as seamless to use as any other tool. Right. And that's what we're working on. Nice. 